What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Hi, how are ya? Now in today's video, we're going to be doing another Battle of the Foundations. Now it's been months and girl, there are so many launches. Now I've been getting so many requests to test out the brand new NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop full coverage foundation. Now this dropped a few months ago. I got the PR kit and it's been sitting here and I've been to about mm, 10 countries and 20 states later. I'm finally home to sit my ass down. Now I miss playing with makeup. I know it has been very serious on my channel lately, which bitch, I'm a serious ass hoe. But today, we're gonna be testing out this brand new drugstore foundation versus a $195 luxury foundation. Yes, I said that, $195. Now, if you're new here, let me tell you how it goes. Half my face will be drugstore and half my face will be luxury. So, of course, after I try the foundations, I'm gonna leave my house and I'm gonna go out into the world and I'm gonna see how the formula looks in the sunlight, how it holds up throughout the day. I have to go to the mall, I have to get my legs waxed. I hope they let me film in there. We'll see. Um, and I have a bunch of errands to do before I leave for Australia. So, let's get this review started. And if you're new here, hi, how are ya? Whew, girl, the tea has been so hot the last few weeks, like, I'm still burning. Okay, so everybody, today, it's been a long, it's been a long few weeks in this beauty community, but um, maybe this foundation will cover everyone's bad attitudes. All right, so the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Full Coverage Foundation is allegedly a 24-hour matte finish wear. Now, girl, there is 45 shades. NYX was not playing around. Um, also, I got this in PR. Let me just hold that up. I might break my arms, but I'm gonna hold this up for you guys. Oh my god, hi. We love being on a PR list because we get to actually see everything up close and, and, and personable and I just love that. Up close and person, I swear I can speak English. All right, now when you open this up, you will see the stunning and beautiful Alyssa Ashley. She is the ambassador of this launch and she helped NYX create all the shade range. Now this is so heavy, you guys. You will see in a minute why. Ooh! Now this comes with a primer and 40 Five shades. Jesus, take the wheel. This looks so delicious and beautiful. I can't even fit it all in the frame. Woo! Hi. Brands, take note. Now, this foundation is very full coverage, allegedly, and let's go on the website and see what is supposed to happen. Now, it says that this is a lightweight, waterproof, pigmented as fuck formula. We love that. It's supposed to not transfer. It's very creamy. It's supposed to glide on, give matte coverage, and a color that stays for 24 hours. Our little overachiever also works to control shine, mattify your complexion all day, but it doesn't stop there. This is also supposed to be suitable for normal, oily combination, and sensitive skin. Now, I couldn't tell if this formula is vegan. Um, I'm gonna have to hop online in a minute, but of course, this whole brand is cruelty-free. So, I grabbed two shades that I think are gonna work for me. It says light and natural, and they are numbers 20R500 uh, and 20R502. Now, before we even apply that, we gotta talk about what the drugstore brand is gonna be battling up against. Recently, the bougie as fuck brand La Prairie just launched their new Skin Caviar Essence in Foundation, infused with caviar water, SPF 25 and girl, this retails for $195. So I had to buy four shades from the internet and girl, do the math. Now, you may say, Jeffrey, why did you spend over $800 on foundations? Well, we had to do a review. So this is the box that it came in, very bougie, very uh, expensive. I feel like I'm opening up a purse from Parada right now. And when you open it, it comes with paper that is probably more expensive than my tissue paper in the bathroom. And of course, we have all the shades. It comes in these beautiful boxes. I'm just gonna stack them all right here. All right, so we have all the foundations here. <laughs> Look at this shit. The packaging is so insane. And when you open this up, it does have a whole sleeve that comes off of it. And then it looks like this. It is very, very sealed. Now, I almost didn't want to review this because I saw the shade range. Now, 45 shades. This brand, when looking for my shade, had eight. Eight shades. Now, a lot of you are like, well, let's talk about it. This is very big in the Asian market and for white people, which I think is fucking ridiculous. So, I don't know why these brands do this. We've talked about this countless times with Tarte and Beauty Blender. I have no idea, you guys. I think it's a sick joke. All right, now, of course, this brand is made in Switzerland, and this has sun protection in it, and there's a lot going on here. There's, uh, there's a lot. It says, apply liberally 15 minutes before sun exposure. Perfect. When you open it up, it does, of course, come with an instruction book in case you didn't know how to apply your foundation. And here's the component. Oh my God, I saw a picture of this on the internet. 
This looks like... Whoa, okay, so here it is and it actually if you guys saw this it came with an extra foundation So if you run out they literally give you two so you know $195 I don't know about the price point, but at least they give you two foundations. So when you run out of this one um, There's this this has one fluid ounce Which we all know by now is a very standard for foundations for brands now this one has 0 0.5 So half the product, but they are giving you Two, so you are getting the same amount of product as the um, NYX. Now let's open this up. It has a little button right here. A bitch better have a button for that price point. And we're gonna open her up here. Oh, I feel like I should have a sound effect, it's so pricey. The mirror is very normal, standard. Hi, how are you doing, girl? It's not as heavy as I thought. You guys know I like, I like heavy components, and this is not that heavy. It's cute, but it should be a brick for the price. Now, it does come with this little applicator. I haven't read the instructions. My common sense says that we're just gonna press on this and it's going to come forward like most cushion foundations. So, let's get primed and see who is gonna win this beauty battle. Now the NYX foundation did come with this primer, which is called the Can't Stop, Won't Stop Matte Primer. I am gonna apply this only on half of the face, and then we will give La Paris its moment. Oh, oh it's thick. Okay, when you touch it, it becomes a little bit more emollient. It's not as, mm, it's kind of thick actually, okay. I'm just gonna press this into my skin and let's Prime the right side of my face. Oh my god, that dried so quick. What does it say? Apply evenly and gently tap to set. Complete the look with the foundation. Okay, honey. So I'm gonna put a lot in my hands here. We're gonna do, of course, the neck. This says tap to set, bitch. I'm gonna tap my face. And of course, straight down the middle. Huh, okay. I think it is officially on there. Now, we're gonna grab another primer. I'm just gonna grab my iconic Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. You guys know I've been using this since I started my channel. And I'm just gonna dip in right here. This will not affect the formula because this soaks into your skin instantly. All right, let's take this foundation now that we are primed. Good morning, oh wow. Ooh, okay, now I don't know how much, I don't know how much is it gonna cover. So I don't wanna go overboard, but I do wanna put in one little pump there. I have a tiny bit of a tan, my neck and face are a little uneven. We're just gonna mix her together like that. Just a little foundation cocktail. Oh my God, that may be too much, I'm not sure. So let's see what happens, Miss NYX. Let's bounce. Ooh, we're buffing and blending, and I will say this, the coverage is nice so far. When something can cover my discoloration right away, I know it's gonna be good. All right, um, first impressions, I'm like, wow, NYX, you better fucking work. Now, I will say this, it looks a tiny bit drying and it may be because of that primer. I hate using new primers, but it came with one and I know you guys are all at home and gonna be like, well then you better use it. I would have done my whole face with this. I was moisturized, um, it does look a tiny, I don't, not, I don't mean like dry dry like the desert. Can you imagine? Hi everyone, oh I look amazing. I don't mean really dry, I just mean like there's, there's a tiny bit of dryness. So um, overall, coverage is amazing, it looks beautiful so far. Um, now, let's try this side. All right, let's bust this baby out. I'm going to try shade Pure Ivory N20. Now, first of all, it comes with this, okay? <laughs> For $195, girl, I expected this to be like, I don't know, dripping in diamonds, but this cheap little CVS applicator is supposed to be for this. So I read the instructions. All you gotta do is literally click this. So maybe we can even hear it on the microphone. Ready for it? Ooh, it's like a little compact. And see how the foundation appeared like a little flower. It's on, it's on here, barely. Now let me really go in there. Okay, there's the foundation. Good morning, America. Now I hate these applicators. I will, for the sake of this video, try it. Now, is this the right color for me? I am so scared. I'm gonna do a tiny dot and see if this is gonna work for me. Oh, wow. Is it too light? I mean, I think we should just try it. So I'm gonna use their little, their little sponge moment, applicator, if you will, and this says just to pat it on. So, Patrick, let's pat. Oh. 
Oh wow, this is looking so luminous and pretty, but this motion, my wrist is over it. So I'm going to take away the sponge. I love brushes for this type of stuff, or I love just going back in with this. Let's take this little Dior 12 brush here. The only thing is, is you can't like, you, you need this to press it. So you see how you need it to come up? There I'm gonna kind of like take it like that. Maybe I'll just like swipe it on my skin. See why I hate these little things? You can't get in the crevices of your nose. So I'm just gonna take this brush, swirl some of this product around, and buff a little harder. So far, now I wanna talk about the fragrance. We didn't really talk about this. To me, this just smelled like, like, foundation. You guys know what I mean by now. This kind of smells like foundation. This, girl, this just smells like expensive ass moisturizer. Like, smells amazing. All right, let's merge the NYX with the La Paris. Ooh, I'm just patting and patting. All right, the La Paris is laid down. I am gonna look here in this mirror here, and I will say this, this side is way more matte which you know I love a full coverage matte. This side is obviously not supposed to be the same, it is a different formula, it is a different brand, and this one has more of a luminosity to it as you can see when I move my face. It has more of a skin-like texture, if you will. It's still pretty full, under eyes look amazing. Overall, I don't even know which one I like better. Now, of course, I do wanna do some concealer, powder, throw on some makeup so I can go out into the world. Um, I do most of that off camera, but I am gonna put some concealer on right now just so we can see how it lays. I have no new concealers besides this one. Makeup Revolution, honey, I'm gonna need like an affiliate link. No, I'm just kidding, you guys know I never do that. But this concealer is $7, it works, it's great. I've used it in countless videos and um, let's see what a $7 concealer looks like over a $195 foundation. All right, let's bounce. All right, concealer is blended. Why does it kind of look the same on both sides? And I'm not mad at it at all. It actually looked like it stuck better over the NYX and there's a little bit of patchiness here. So there's actually the reality of it. So I'm just gonna add in a little bit more now, it's not a negative yet because you guys know, with the primer, the foundation, the concealer, not every formula is going to gel and work together. That is why we do these first impressions to see what works with what. I am gonna just blend that out a little bit more before it's too late, and it is looking a little bit better. So sometimes with certain formulas, you will have to add a little bit more. All right, now let's go in with our Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and set everywhere where we put concealer. Now, if you watched my previous video with Mitchell doing my makeup, he took a very soft brush like this and he just dipped it in. And I wanna try his technique because you guys know I just go in with my beauty sponge, but he took the powder and he just ever so carefully barely pressed it on top. And it was so gentle and like, I almost wanna say cute, but it just made it look so airbrushed. Not that I didn't like airbrush before, but girl, it looked really, really pretty. It feels so weird to do things out of your normal routine, but if you watch people do makeup a lot on YouTube or you just see something new that you've never done before, put it in your daily routine. See if it works for you, and if it does, stick with it. All right, the concealer, the powder, everything is looking pretty. I don't have a favorite of what I like on my face yet, so I am going to quickly go off camera, do a little contour, lips, and mascara, and I'll be back in a jiffy. All right, the foundation has been on for about an hour. I did my full face, just a little soft glam moment. I'm about to throw on some clothes. I gotta go get my legs waxed before this trip and I gotta go run some errands. So we will be doing some check-ins and of course see how both foundations wear. All right, it is about 80 degrees out. It is very beautiful here in Calabasas. So we're gonna see if these foundations are gonna uphold within the heat and let's go rip some hair out of my legs. <laughs> Jesus, take the wheel. Oh wow, I actually matched the inside of my car today. That was not planned. City. 
of Topanga. And we're about to go to the waxing place. I actually called ahead and said, hey, can we have the cameras come and film me? Um, they said no, so gotta be respectful. All right, we're waxing the back of my legs right now and we're doing a check-in and the beautiful girl waxing me said that she likes the left side better. All right, and she doesn't know what we reviewed. I didn't tell her what it was. And she said that she liked this side better. So, how are we doing? There's a tiny bit of cracking right here I'm seeing on the lens. Come on, front camera, don't try me. But, ooh, this side is looking a lot rougher. Huh. You see that creasing? Lord help me. I know everyone, this is not, uh, Jake Paul, this is Princess Diana, don't try me. Someone really said this looks like no Logan Paul, and I was like, girl, do not try me. <laughs> Waxing was done, we are all good, ready for Australia. Now, I need some Jamba Juice. Um, it's in the parking lot, so I'm just gonna walk over instead of driving, and I'm gonna let the sun just soak in on this foundation. How are we looking, world? NYX, La Prairie. We'll have to ask a stranger if they wanna give me any, any feedback. First of all, we're gonna do a first impression. This is the watermelon? Yeah. Okay. This is the watermelon breeze. <laughs> Give her a shake. Limited edition. You know I love watermelon. Oh, wow. It's very realistic. It's like I'm <laughs> biting into like, ooh, the raspberry undertone. Mm. We have Alexa here. Hi, honey. Hi. <laughs> Um, okay, so I have two foundations on. Right. One of them is on the left side, one of them is on the right. Which one do you think is better? Um, to a full look. Can you tell a difference? I mean, I thought I could, but now that I'm close to right here. Get up in them pores. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Uh, your highlight's so pretty. Oh, thanks. Yes, liquid frost. She's pretty. Uh, I would say... Can you tell? It's literally like split. No. Can you tell? No, it's so is good. it? No, I, I know. So I'm like. One of them I'm is. One of them is fifteen dollars, and one of them is a hundred and ninety-five. What? Yeah. Okay, close your <laughs> <close> eyes. <laughs> okay. I really like one, this side. Yeah, the one on the left is fifteen. That, yeah, that's accurate. Really? I did not tell them. Okay, so we got two left. I'm gonna go with the left side better. La, two La Paris, all right. We will be checking in in a few hours to see which one withstands the test of time. I that. <laughs> one, two. Legs waxed, Jamba Juice is good. Now it's time to go to the mall, go to Louis Vuitton, and then girl, I wanna go to Carl's Jr. and try those new Fruit Loop Donut Bites. Life goals. Got me some watermelon jamba juice. Yeehaw! All right, so before we leave for Australia, I need to grab some stuff from Louis Vuitton, another place where we're not allowed to film, but hey, we can film from the outside. Um, I did order some stuff and I really want to bring it. I heard it's a little chilly in Sydney and Melbourne, so we're gonna pick up some stuff. Oh my God. They close in five minutes and there are so many people inside still. Jesus Christ. some food, I got the donuts, now I am dying to try them, okay? I'm not even gonna open the box and look at them yet. I'm gonna drive home real quickly, me and Nate are gonna try them together, um, and then I'll ask uh, what he thinks of this foundation. But before we even get home, it's been a little while since we've left the mall. I'm gonna bust out a mirror real quickly. Let's just peek at this face, I'm scared. <sighs> Deep breath. <gasps> oh my God, look what's across the street. Huh, that's interesting. The munchies are really kicking in. Okay, back to the review. 
I'm being silent because I'm actually looking really hard. Oh wow, okay. So now the waxing lady, the girl at Jamba Juice, and my friend that works at Louis Vuitton all said they're living for the left side. Now, I do see some slight differences. My pores are definitely more accentuated on the right side. Um, this looks a little more smooth and skin-like, but overall, I'm not seeing a drastic difference. I'm not like, oh my god, I hate this side and this side's like sickening, which we've seen that in some of my reviews. So I'm still on the fence. I don't think I've worn it long enough to really determine how I feel, so let's continue home. All right, we're home, and um, I brought a surprise for us. Oh yeah, what hmm? is it? Delicious, do you know what's in the bag, honey? He's like, what's in there? And it looks greasy. Um, I'm having a Trisha Paytas moment. We are trying out the brand new Carl's Jr. Kellogg's Fruit Loop oh, wow. Mini Donut collaboration. Yeah, it sounds good. Oh wow. I got your own bugs, dude. That's Don't open them yet, I haven't seen them in person. I'm scared. Okay. Okay. Okay, come on, first impressions. Jack Carver doing a mukbang in the middle of a foundation review, only on my channel. <laughs> All right, ready? One, two. Oh my god, they're really cute. Yeah, they are, actually. They look Ooh, like they glaze Let's smell. Well. Oh my god. Straight fruit loops. Smell this. Whoa. It's like straight up fruit loops. Holy shit. What color are you doing? Green? <laughs> yep. Cheers, dude. Yeah. That's a fruit loop. Oh my god. That's a fruit loop. That is a fruit loop! Mm. <laughs> Look at all the dogs, you guys. Look at drama in the yard. Mama's eating a fruit loop donut, honey. Oh! Oh, hi! Do you like that? They know They know some commands. You heard fruit loop when you ran? That's really Look good. Look at her, she's so hyper. My little lamb chop. You know you ain't getting any of these. Okay, real quickly. I'm talking my mouthful. I know you hate it. You know the drill, baby. We're split down the middle. Mm -hmm. A or B? What are your thoughts? The right side looks like it doesn't crease as much. Or, well, my right side. So, my left? Yeah. <laughs> this is, you'll see later why I was like, okay. Yeah. Yeah, so I mean, you, that seems a little bit like it's not as creased on that it's side. It's creasy, yeah. Yeah. It's a little rough right here, huh? Or no, no, not too bad, but it's still good. We've had worse, but it's still yeah. good. It's just yeah. not it's as. It's not like the other side. It's not like the other side. All right, well, Nate's actually about to go film a video, so I'm gonna mm -hmm. um, keep munching on these, and um, these are so bomb. They're oh my really god, is. Carl's Jr., if anyone cares about me over there, don't make these limited edition. <laughs> mm. While we've been pre-filming, before we leave for Australia, Nate was just upstairs and did his entire makeup by himself. I'm like, I'm not even gonna say what I thought. I'm not gonna say anything until y'all see the video. I have a mirror here. Let's zoom in on my face, and let's see what the hell is going on. Do we love the La Paris hundred and ninety-five dollar foundation? You guys know I don't want to like the luxury. You know that price point is too absurd. But is it better than the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Foundation? Fifteen dollars, which is obviously a bargain and a steal. Um, which one is better? I I don't know yet. I'm actually looking. I'm gonna. I'm using the light off the camera. You know, it's very uh, dark outside. By the way, I did add some little Pat McGrath highlight. I will say this. The NYX side looks a little drier. Now, I, just from using makeup every single day, I think it was the NYX primer. 100% think that it was too dry for my skin. Um, I feel like if I would have used the same Bobbi Brown hydrating primer, the foundation would have laid a little smoother. So, usually this does not happen during a review, but I think that the primer was too dry for me, because after I put it on, it was just like, not the greatest texture. Um, so I think it definitely, affected the performance of this foundation. I think for $15, you can't beat the coverage. It has lasted all day. Has it creased in my smile lines? Yes. I think the primer really did flop and it made it too dry for me, so it definitely settled a lot more than this side. Um, this side looks stunning. There is a tiny bit of creases, but it just looks more like, it looks fake, but also lifelike at the same time. Me, on brand. I just think this side does look a little more luminous, it's not as dry, it even feels more like kind of nice to the touch. So, sorry, I know I'm rambling, but I want to give you guys the full tea. So, would I ever recommend buying a $195 foundation? Absolutely not. If you are a, someone that is very bougie, you like royal shit, or you just like the packaging and you don't care, 
Splurge on it, honey. If you're someone that wants like one foundation all year, like all year long, like my mom was like, girl, I'm down to buy a La Mer or a La Paris, but I want like one good foundation so I could wear it the entire year. So if you want to be, you know, spend a little price moment on there, all good. But um, there's there's stuff that's worked way better that um, is way cheaper. So this is weird. I almost like, is this a draw? I don't know if there's a winner because I really think the primer flopped. Oh my God, this has never happened during a foundation battle. I don't know what to do. Okay, after much deliberation with all five of my dogs, we've come to the, <laughs> we've come to the decision that we're gonna have a first ever draw on this channel. I don't think that this was given a fair shot because of the primer. I know I've said that like six times in the last one minute, but it really, I know my skin. Girl, I know my skin. And it didn't get a fair shot. This side, um, the La Paris Skin Caviar Foundation is Jeffree Star approved. <laughs> Woo! But girl, the price point is absurd. Did the formula work? Yeah, it's been hours and hours and hours. The, it looks amazing. The moon's up, girl. The sun's down. My skin looks great. I think it looks very nice and full and just all over like, ugh. Over here, she's cute. She's long wear, but... She didn't get a fair shot. So I will test this out and bring this with me on my trip. But um, yeah, the first ever draw. You guys sound off below. You guys, you guys stare at my face in 4K. You see what the real T is. Let me know below. I can't stop thinking about the donuts. Fuck, I need help. Okay, you guys, thank you so much for watching this battle of the foundations. I will see you on the next one. Mwah. Bye, guys.